Good day. This week we've been looking at faith. Remember that faith is what we are living because the Bible says the just shall live by faith. The Bible says that we walk by faith. So this is not something that I just put on when I'm in a problem. No, this is something that I have as a lifestyle, continually persuading my heart of God's love and his promises and his character and his word. And that comes through a relationship with God. In Hebrews 11.1, 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I've paraphrased it and I've said it this way. Faith is the title deed, the substructure of the things confidently expected. It is the proof, the certainty and the conviction that the things already accomplished in Christ are mine. And so those are words out of the Greek that I've just taken to make sure that I can understand it and interpret it correctly, that this is the title deed. This is the thing that's like, no, I really have ownership of something. So in my heart, do I believe that I have ownership or do I believe that I still need to get ownership? See, that's the difference between hope and faith. Hope is like, I'm hoping that it will happen. Faith is, I know that it is mine. And then it says there that it's something that is hopeful. It's a confident expectation of good. It's talking about the evidence or the proof, the certainty or the conviction of whatever I'm believing God for and that it's already accomplished in Jesus. A.W. Tozer said this, what you hear about God is the greatest influencer of your faith. And the Bible says in Romans 10, 15 to 17, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they've not all obeyed the gospel for Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our report? So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So he's saying in this portion of scripture, hearing God and getting faith to work doesn't come by hearing bad news. He's saying, Lord, who has believed our report? So in Isaiah 40 verse 2, it says the, the war is over. Judgment has passed. In Isaiah 53, 11, there it's talking about God is satisfied with what Jesus accomplished and is satisfied with you. So it's important for us to make sure that we are hearing good news because faith comes by hearing, but he precedes that talking about the good news. For my faith to actually work and for it to be um, energized within me and expressed within me, it comes by hearing good news. So I need to make sure that I'm attentive to what I'm listening to because what I'm listening to is either going to build my faith or it's going to get my faith to leak. And the Bible is very clear. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ, but it's defined by hearing good news. So my friend, are you hearing good news that is building your faith? What are you listening to? If you're listening to the news and you're listening to negativity and you're listening to religion, your faith is going to leak. But when you hear something that is connected to the finished work of Jesus, that by God's grace, he's already provided everything, that God loves you with an unconditional love, that you don't need to fear him. What happens is faith works in your heart because the love of God casts out all fear and faith works by love. So it's knowing in my heart that God is true to his word and that he loves you unconditionally. That'll energize my faith. So I want to encourage you today, man. Hear good news because it'll build your faith. And always remember, you are highly favored and deeply loved of God.